Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 8th edition of my vlog, Ryan's Ramplings. Welcome back. I am back by popular demand. I'm by popular demand. I mean two people. So here I am. Um, it's been a while since the last vlog. I have a lot to catch you guys up on. But that's for another vlog. This particular vlog is about a painful memory. <sighs> a very, very painful memory. Um, one of the most painful memories of my life. So, without further ado, I, pre I present the vlog, Ryan's Ramblings Volume 8, The Purple Rain, where I recap that damn game, a.k.a. the 2009 NFC Championship game. Now, this is the second most painful memory of my entire life. The first, the first, and everyone knows how this feels, is finding out that the person that you're in love with is in love with someone else. That sucks. But next to that, this is the most painful memory I had. And there's going to be a song I'm going to play in the background that I will explain the significance of later that accentuates my pain. It's by one of the greatest artists of all time, Prince. So here we go. It's the four year anniversary of that day, and I can't help but bring back memories. I got it. I had to have a few to drown, to drown things out. Wow, that's loud. Um, it was a painful day. I was a sophomore in college. The Vikings had had a magical season. With Brett Favre, our old enemy's quarterback, we went 12 and 4. And after crushing, yes, crushing America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. God, I hate this song so much. But I'll explain that later. God! Went to the NFC title game. Now, for those who aren't football educated, if you win the NFC title game, you get to go to the Super Bowl. The granddaddy of them all. Now, the Vikings have never won the Super Bowl. And I thought this was our year. I, I have my Brett Favre jersey. I thought this was going to be the year that the Vikings finally broke the curse. I thought this was our year. So we go against the Saints. The number one seed, they were a good team, but I, I knew in my heart we were going to beat them. Whatever the, over the course of the next 16 minutes changed my life. On paper, we killed the Saints. We... Ah! I hate this son! Why did you throw against your body, Brett Favre? We should have killed them. They had about 250 yards total. We had 500. But the problem was, we had eight turnovers, or seven turnovers, or something we could guess. And some of them were Adrian Peterson, who had a fumbling problem during the regular season, but I thought would get fixed. But he didn't. And some of them were Brett Favre, the quarterback who was supposed to lead us to the promised land. But he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. But we lived by Brett Favre. We wanted a leader. We couldn't make up our freaking mind. He screwed us over, okay? We had the ball. Despite everything that happened, we had the ball. We were driving to win the game. The game's tied. We get the ball, and we're driving to win. And we call a timeout. We call a timeout on the 30-yard line. We can kick a field goal. We can win. But out of a timeout, Brad Childress, Brad Childress, has 12 men on the field. Well, then on the field, how'd you get that out of a timeout? 
So we moved it to 35, and I think, okay, we'll be fine. We they snap the ball, and Brent Favre gets hit. And he has so much room to run. He could have ran for five yards, and Ryan Longwell would have kicked the field goal to win the game. We're going to the Super Bowl. That's not what happens. What happens? Brett Favre throws the ball across his body. You don't throw the ball across your body if you're a quarterback. And what happens? He gets picked off. The game goes to overtime. But by this point, I already know what's going to happen. We lost the game on a field goal in overtime. And instead of screaming up the combination of cuss words that I had made up earlier, like Fitch or Shuck, when that field goal hits and the Vikings lose, I just I just start sobbing uncontrollably. This thing that I had so much faith in has let me down. What happens next I'm not proud of. I reevaluated my entire life. And you're like, ha, ah, it's funny. He didn't really reevaluate his entire life. You know how much I, re I value my life because of this damn game. I stopped chasing after the girl I was going after. I changed my major. I shaved my head bald. Look at this luscious, beautiful head of hair. It was bald. Because I needed change in my life. Because I didn't know what was what anymore. You should have won that game, guys. Sorry, this is, this is so hard for me to talk about. I was in a terrible place emotionally. And then I'm driving home from school the next day. And do you know what happens? You know what comes on the radio immediately as I fall out of campus? Breaking Purple Rain! This stupid song! Okay? This song comes on. And to tell you the truth, 